Okay, today we're going to make a few things. I'm going to do a breakfast this morning, Eggs Benedict. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make homemade hollandaise in a blender. Now, you can use a blender or you can use a metal bowl with one of those things, okay? But I'm old school. This is an old trick that I was taught by John Herzl in Carson City. Okay, I want to give a shout out to John, my dad down there in uh, Bakersfield. Um, pointed out I'm doing this with my nose a lot, okay? Well, I've got allergies. I'm not, on a, I'm not doing drugs or drinking. How about that? Okay, so um, I've started off, listen, this is an easy way to make uh, potatoes. I'm gonna have potatoes with it. Fried potatoes, I got a little onion in this, okay? I'm gonna put a little olive oil, a little garlic, and I microwave these, not to where the point where they're like a baked potato, but about half done. And then you can cut these up, they're soft, okay? And they'll just keep, uh, cook quick and easy and boom, boom. Okay, so I slice these up. I'll get these potatoes cooked up and then we'll we'll move forward. Okay, so we're gonna get eggs. Okay, I'm only making this for two people, but um, I'm gonna give you the recipe for at least four for the, for, the, for the hollandaise. Okay, so you're gonna need eggs, a lemon, Canadian bacon, you can use ham if you want. You can even use bacon, whatever you guys want to adjust. I'm just trying to get you the main, the main deal, but I use Canadian bacon, okay? And get yourself some English muffins. Okay, another thing I'm doing today because we're probably going sailing or we're gonna be working on the boats, whatever we're doing. So I'm gonna prepare myself. Now I was talking earlier, okay? Uh, I got a London Royal, $10, okay? So, you know, yeah, you can barbecue these. You can do all kinds of stuff with London Royal. But um, I'm not a barbecue show. I'm just trying to show you other ways to do it, okay? There's just so many great barbecuers. I don't even compare to some of these guys. So anyway, I'll cut this up. A couple pieces. Now you can use a pressure cooker. You can even boil it if you, if you have to. But what I'm trying to do is just make it so it melts in your mouth at the end of the day. I can leave this crock pot on, okay, all day long and come back and have a tender meat to cook with. So I'll put that in there, a couple cups of water, maybe a cup and a half of water. Just cover the meat really good, about a half inch over that. Get some uh, granulated garlic, throw that in there. Okay, throw a little granulated garlic on my potatoes. Okay, let's see we got these going. And see, they're partially cooked already, so they'll brown up real easy. Now, I don't have a full burner stove, so I'm going to have to do this in different parts. So first, I'm going to get the potatoes done, and then uh, I'll get set up because we've got to poach the eggs. And anyway, I'm going to throw some uh, in this meat. I'm going to throw some pepper in there. I'm going to throw a little pepper on my potatoes. Peppa. Okay. Um... I also want to shout out to uh, my dad in Montana. We'll be going on the road with this show a little bit. We're going to go up there in the fall. And so, love you guys. Love everybody out there. Okay. So, um, I'll put this on high uh, for about four hours. Turn it to low till I'm ready to pull it out and cook. And then I'll do a show. I'm not even sure what I'm going to make with it yet. So, But I'll show you. A, I'll come up with something before the day's out. And hopefully we'll have a few pictures of some adventure. i show you the boats we've got over here and everything else. Okay, so I'm going to let this cook and I'll be right back. Okay, since I'm doing two different, i got to get my uh, hot plate in here. But listen, so what I'm doing is getting the, getting the Canadian bacon going. These potatoes are almost done. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is just unplug this now that i got this bacon in there. Yum. Okay, so like I said, we're just making it for two of us today and just showing you. Okay, so I'm going to get that plugged in here in a minute. I'll just flip this and turn this off and cover it for now. Okay. Bang. Okay, let me get situated the other way around and I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Arg. Okay, so slowly warm up. Okay, usually you would put, okay, to a cube of butter, you would put six egg yolks. 
okay? I'm just going to put four egg yolks to three quarters of, because I'm only doing for two. But what you want to do, crack your egg, okay? Like that, okay? And get go back and forth and get that white off of there, okay? Boom, drop that in your blender, okay? Boom. Bang. Anyway, we might go sailing on a schooner today with the captain. If not, we're sanding to varnish, so let's hope we go sailing. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it's all work. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the life of a pirate, you know. Arr. Arr, you guys. Oh, yeah, and you kids get your grades up. All right. So I've got four in there. Okay, slowly do this. Now I've got this on high to bring up for poached eggs. Okay, so while this melts and everything else now, also, um, we've got lemon. Now you can do this to taste, okay? So I'll get half a lemon to this one. And then if you don't like it real lemony, okay, don't make it with a lot of lemon and then somebody else, they can squeeze a little more lemon on it when it's done. Okay, so watch out for seeds. So I kind of, I just wash my hands. Squeeze yourself a lemon in there. You can put a little rag over it or however you squeeze your lemons. There you go, no seeds. Okay, so check it. Squeeze that lemon in there really good. Like I said, if you want a little more lemony, uh, do it to taste. This show's just about giving you ideas and, and the basics, okay? You can always branch out now. Um, another thing, if you just add a, a little uh, teaspoon of tarragon to this, um, you've got uh, Bernays sauce, which goes with dinners and over broccolis and all kinds of stuff, which I'll be using in some of these. Once I get some seafood, I'll show you some other, uh, some other tricks of the trade. Okay, so we'll be right back. Arg, we're back. Uh, Pirate's galley. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... The, the butter, you heat slow. You don't want it to separate, okay? I've got uh, water going for my poached eggs, okay? I toasted off a couple English muffins while I was gone. I've got it in the pan, covered, it's hot, everything else, okay? I've got my blender ready to go, okay? So we're gonna drop four eggs in the vata. Poach. Now, there's another way you can do this, okay? If you don't, uh, poaching eggs is pretty simple. But also, if you got an egg pan and you cook your eggs, and as soon as they start turning white, cooking, you can throw a couple tablespoons of water and cover them. It's called basted eggs, and you can use basted eggs for this too. So, anyway, like I said, you bring this up slow, okay, up to heat a little bit, and we'll get going. And um, I'll be right back and finish off this dish. Okay, have a great day. Okay, here we go. English muffin, Canadian bacon, got our potatoes, nice and warm. Okay, poached eggs are ready. Okay, there's a nice poached egg. You put that right there, okay. Okay, now when you get this butter, you heat it up super slow, super slow, and then you get it right to where it's kind of crackling a little bit, just hot enough to do this. And here's the secret to our hollandaise. Okay, hit puree. Get that. Uh oh, better plug it in. Technical difficulties. Okay, get that going. Okay, and slowly add your butter. Okay, check it out.
homemade hollandaise in a blender. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but I can. And smell it. We've got to get smell of vision, mm, kids. Look gosh, at that. Just gosh. soak it on there, okay? Oh, wow. Here we go. Then the final touches. Just a little paprika. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Eggs Benedict, one man band. Here we go. See you next time. What else do we do? We, uh, we want subscribes, likes, followers, um, all of it. Comments, yeah, all of it. Comments, yeah, yeah, even yeah. bad comments. Yeah, and, if, you oh, love, yeah. if you love the burgers, write a comment. Okay, listen, if also, the, if you've whatever. got requests, yeah. do it. Anyway, request, our, get, whatever. See ya.